16.8a, Distance and Revenue Problems, Simultaneous Products. Simultaneous product is basically just two equations with two variables that are multiplied. To solve, we're going to divide both equations by the same factor, the one that contains either x or y, so you'll, if you choose x, you're going to divide both equations by a factor that has x in it, or you'll choose one that has the factor of y. And then you're going to substitute. So in example one here, we would take, say, something like the xy equal to 72. I'm going to divide both by y. So we're going to get that 70 or x equals 72 over y. I don't, don't want that there. All right. So now it means in our second equation we want to divide by the factor that has y in it also. So we're going to divide by y plus 2. And so now what we have is x minus 5 equal to 56 over y plus 2. We'll substitute in the 72 over y into our equation here. So now we have 72 over y minus 5 equal to 56 over y plus 2. We'll multiply the whole thing by our common denominator, which is going to be y times y plus 2. And so what we're going to get is 72y minus 5 times y, y plus 2, equal to 56y. Actually, this is supposed to be a y plus 2 over here. I'm going to squeeze that in so I don't have to rewrite. Okay, so now we have 72y plus 144 minus 5y squared minus 10y equal to 56y. Alright, let's see. So we now have negative 5y squared plus 62y plus 144 equal to our 56y. Let's subtract that. Okay. So now what I have is a negative 5y squared plus 62y, I'm sorry, not 62, 6y, plus 144 equal to 0. We're going to throw this into our quadratic, quadratic formula. So we're going to get that y equals a negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 6 squared minus, oh, sorry, minus 4 times our negative 5 times our 144 all over 2 times our negative 5. So we're going to get y equals negative 6 plus or minus 54 once we take the square root all over negative 10. And so we're going to get that y is equal to, we have negative 6 and a negative 54 which would give us a negative 60. Negative 60 divided by 10 is going to be 6. And then negative 6 
plus 54 is going to give us 48 and 48 divided by 10 well we'll just say that it's 20 or a negative 24 fifths okay we have two solutions here okay we're going to take them and we're going to go back to our original equation here and we're going to plug them up in up here for our y so we can solve for x okay I've shifted this down here so we have a little bit more room so we have x is equal to 72 divided by 6 we can easily throw that in our calculator and of course we're going to get 12 so what we have here is we have these as pairs we're going to have 12 and 6 if you remember back to when you were graphing these need we have our x and our y okay we put them in order pairs and then we do the same thing for the other and again this is something that you can throw in your calculator so you're going to take 72 divided by a negative 24 fifths and you're going to get that that's a negative 15 so let me throw that in there so we have x equal to 72 over negative 24 fifths so our other pair is going to be a negative 15 and a negative 24 fifths okay these are our solutions for our simultaneous products